Yeah, no, it's good. It's something I think the guys need it. Could be back in Vancouver, you know, getting a little bit of, you know, our home fans building and getting used to this stuff. I think it's uh, something we need. It's kind of fun. It's, it's a good time for us to come back and play a home game. You said games four and six would probably foreshadow most of what we would see on opening night. Um, saw a pretty good group out there this morning. What what are you focused on in terms of what you need to see in particular? Just the value of the little things, you know, the staples that we're preaching. You know, we have to start, you know, from day one at training camp, and I want to see that tonight. You know, I'm not concerned about other things, but I think the value in the little things is something really important with this uh, team. So we were, we're hammering on that uh, all this week. Have you seen progress in some of those things from, you know, early in camp to the first few games of preseason to now getting to a pretty close roster here? I've seen a lot of effort, though. Like, that's the one thing. And, and you know, when you have a disconnected lineup, sometimes you have guys that do guys that haven't, don't know the system, you know, some of the average for guys. So sometimes when you have a mix, you'll see some system breaks out, and I'm okay with that. I, um, it's just the little things, you know, wall work, um, you know, being above a guy, you know, um, your, your neutral zone. Little things like that, I think, is something that you have to kind of dial in a little bit quicker uh, when you're kind of, you know, have different match, uh, lineups. But uh, that's why I, maybe even game five will have a, a lot of our guys too. I, I think there's no problem to have that. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, what are you looking for from Bobelli and Neil Sondland around? Separate, kind of moving them up and down the lineup a little bit, different position in the lineup. What do you expect? <clears throat> well, just to, you know, you know, the, I want them to be creative and play their game, but uh, you know, be a real good on the four checks. You know, um, come up with loose pucks, uh, be good on your own end. Um, you know, change the momentum of a game, um, things like that. Be a give and go guy. You know, they're playing. You know, especially Bo is playing with some good players, so. You know, on that line, you got to be really a good give and go guy. You got to come up, be a really good four checker, come up loose pucks, try to get the puck to PD a lot, and then go through the hole. You know, um, that's a big thing for us. Is, is I'm a big go through the hole. When you play with good players, if you can go through the hole, you're just going to give them more time and space. If you play perimeter, it's a lot tougher to play with uh, those type of players. With Bobillier, was it something about watching the preseason that you wanted to give this opportunity, or just the type of player that he is? I guess? Just puzzles. You know, you look at your team for the puzzles. You know, uh, you know who fits who. You know, uh, you know maybe getting some you know four checking guys. I know that's why I like Giuseppe with you know Millsy really enjoys playing because they come up with loose pucks a lot and uh, they they drove a lot of that possession play. Now it's the next level for guys like that. Can they make plays? You know for for the, for that sort of stuff. But for me right now, it's it's really getting on the puck, change the momentum of a game. You know if another team's on us, a lot of puck possession, can we change the momentum of the game? That's what I'm looking for those type of players to do for us. Uh, I think Jack Stanika on the second or one of the power play units there. Uh, what is, what's the thought process, I guess, putting him on power play? Well, just the personnel. You know, uh, we need a righty. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, it's just kind of trying to find out who can play that those positions. Um, so, yeah, just, yeah, just plus preseason, see what he's got. You know, there's certain, uh, certain guys that you want to try on different situations. What do you think of the scoreboard? Honestly, I didn't even look at it. I, I was, I, I swear, I didn't look at it. But I, I saw, I saw it about two weeks ago. Yeah. It's massive. It's awesome. Rick, obviously, from the outside, we're all trying to figure out who's going to sort of win this battle to be yeah. who's his partner. And you've talked about it. it could be a couple of guys and all those types of things. But we're into the second week of the preseason, and from the morning skate, it looked like Cole Ford's getting another opportunity. How should Cole read that? Yeah, I really liked his game in Edmonton. Very poised, you know. Um, playing against McDavid and Drysaddle is, is a heavy feat. Now, listen, it's not like they were going to middle miles out, out there, but they're still the best players in the league. And I thought he handled himself well. I think he needs a little bit of runway here to see if he, you know, if he's vying for a job. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Um, and then we have backup plans if it doesn't. You know, there's some other guys that we can put in there. Um, and we got some veteran guys we acquired, so they might have to fill the void too. So it's a committee. Like Footy did it last year with we had, I think we had 16 different defense last year. You know, sometimes it's a committee. Uh, the way our, our our D is, and we got some good guys that uh, can fill those roles for us. And I, our depth of our D is obviously a lot better than it was last year in the sense of acquiring those guys. Quinn scored the other night in Edmonton. Um, you know, but I think he had nine shot attempts in the hockey game. He does everything well, but seven goals last year. Like, do you think that there's more for him to give in terms of finding ways to, to score goals from his position? 
Well, I can tell you his shot is about 10, 20 miles harder. Uh, he's worked on his game all summer. You can tell, like his uh, his movements on the on the blue line have, have always been elite. I think there's about three other plays that he's worked on, and I know that it's he's incredible on the blue line. And I mean, even that shot in Edmonton through a screen, great wrist shot. Garland in front scores. I want him to take that shot, and if he takes that shot more often, he's gonna he'll score goals. I'm not really worried about him, just as long as he shoots the puck. You know, maybe in a year's past, or last year, I don't know, the first half, but uh, it seemed like he was shooting a puck a lot more, and I want him to have that shooting mentality. Because he does, he, his shot is sneaky good. He worked on it this summer a lot. I know he did for sure. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, we haven't been here really all camp and playing at Rogers for five months, so it should be fun Saturday night. What are your expectations at this point in the preseason, both personally and as a group, in terms of being ready over the next three for the opening night? I'd say personally just making sure my game's cleaning it up and feeling real real good about myself and then as far as the team in the same way um, most of our lineups playing tonight so uh, just getting to know each other even more. Looks like you can play with Cole again. Yeah. What did you see in his game the other day? I know you went a couple practices as well but there's a lot of intrigue about all him like who's going to start on your right side and like he's his best forward. Yeah, he's had a good camp. He looks strong, um, good hockey sense, good skater, good player, lots of skill, defends hard, has a high compete level. So um, enjoyed enjoyed the uh, <laughs> enjoyed the game uh, with him in Edmonton. I thought you know Edmonton's not an easy team to play against, especially if they're two guys they got. So I thought he did a really good job and. Um, yeah, he's doing great so far. We'll play again to, uh, together tonight and see how that goes. But I think he's he's done a great job. I've enjoyed it, and we'll just keep going. And Joe, you came on the UBC, the Ohio State, Michigan thing. That's okay. You can you can get past that. Yeah. How about the importance of uh, truth and reconciliation day to day and honoring that community in the game tonight and on Wednesday and now as well? Yeah, very important. I mean, uh, last year I played in the game in Abbotsford, and it was really cool and special to see. So, um, looking forward to tonight. Do you guys, now that you're in the second week of the preseason, it's a more reflective roster of what you're going to see in the regular season? I don't know if I want to say ramp it up, but is there a lot more focus on some of those things that the coaching staff have been preaching and trying to get those implemented in terms of the way you play tonight? Yeah, I mean, sir, I think you just said it, fourth preseason game. I mean, so we're we're getting there. So season's almost starting up. So kind of got to clean some stuff up now and um, pay attention to the details. And we're getting our team together today, as you see. And um, yeah. Yeah, it's good. I feel really confident about the power play, though, because it's the same guys pretty much for four or five years and know everyone's reads. And I think that'll that usually comes together like um, we haven't left, but uh, other aspects of the game I'm really looking forward to. Coach was just in here a moment ago. He says uh, he thinks you put 10 to 20 miles an hour on your slap shot over the summer. I don't know if uh, you've brought it on the radar, but is that something that, I mean, I know in past summers you've addressed individual things that you to work on? Did you work on your shot this summer? Uh, I always work on my shot. I think what I worked on is being able to get my shot off from different like movements and like um, not having to stop my skating or you know be in a comfortable position to get a good shot off. So I think um, in different areas I can get a shot off and depending on where the D is and that's a big thing I've been working on and see how it, see how it goes for me this year. I think you had nine shot attempts the other night in Yeah. Was that just? Those that's something I'm looking for, like looking at and like trying to shoot more, be more of a shot threat, create shots um, and rebounds and different things. And uh, a lot of times I've been more of a pass first guy. That's just who I am. But um, being able to create more off my stick and like help the team, I think my shots going to be more important.